Hello, Buns! Welcome back to Cinnabun Sundays, a weekly video series where we talk about all things bunny. I'm Morgan, Cinnabun's Bun Mom, and today we are on episode three of our How to Get a Bunny series. So if this is your first video of our How to Get a Bunny series, go check out episode one and two. We talk all about what it takes to actually get a bunny, kind of the commitment there, and then how to actually physically get one from a breeder, from adoptions, all of those things. So today's episode, now that we've figured out, okay, you are ready for a bunny, you know where you're going to get it from, we're talking about what you do when you actually bring your bunny home in that like week one, week two setup. On this channel, we believe in free roaming. We do not believe the bunnies belong in cages. However, you cannot bring a bunny home, whether it's a baby bunny or an adult bunny, and just plop them on the floor and assume that everything's gonna be fine. So how do you kind of bridge that gap between training your bunny, getting it home, and then opening it up to your space? I'm going to tell you how to set up that early setup, what you're going to need. I'm gonna give you all of the links. They're all gonna be listed below in the description so you have everything you need. And I even give you a few tips about what type of food to feed your bunny in the early stages. All right, so I think that's enough for me. Let's just get in to the video. Before you set anything up, you need to figure out what part of your house you want your bunny's main space to be in. Because once you set everything up, they're going to start associating that area as there. So you wanna get that ball rolling right away. Then you're gonna wanna find some type of rug to lie down. Bunnies can't really hop on hardwood, so you absolutely need a rug to cover any hardwoods. But if you have carpet like I do here, it's still nice to have a rug just in case they have accidents, they don't actually ruin your floor. I'm gonna link in my bio some of our favorite rugs that we've used that are really nice and tightly woven and just difficult for your bunny to actually destroy. Now it's time to set up your exercise pin. First off, you want an exercise pin that is at least three feet tall. Bunnies, they can hop, so you wanna make sure that they can't hop out of their exercise pen. You also wanna make sure that the space between the bars is small, because remember, baby bunnies are tiny and they can squeeze into itty bitty little spaces. Now it's time to place your litter box. Pro tip, bunnies like to pee and poop in corners, so you wanna find the corner of that room, the corner of that space, set your litter box there, and know that this is probably going to be their litter zone for a while. Now in their litter box, you're gonna want their hay, some bedding, and a puppy pad, newspaper, reusable pad, whatever. If you want a full setup tutorial of your litter box, just click the link in my description for our potty training video. Side note, I actually really recommend a hooded litter box. This particular litter box comes with a hood, but I took it off because I have much more of an intricate litter box setup that I talk more about in our potty training video. But just imagine, imagine the hood here, okay? The next thing you're gonna wanna have is some type of hide for your bunny. Now we have a fun little cozy's castle, but there's all sorts of hides that you can have. Bunnies are prey animals, so they like to have a place where they can scuttle off and hide if they get scared or threatened. So I'll link a few of our favorites in the bio, but you wanna have at least one hidey hut for them. You might notice that I don't have a bed in here, and that's just because a lot of bunnies will just flop wherever, but again, if you provide a little blanket for them, they might find that as their little bed and make that their little spot. You're going to want a water bowl, not a water bottle. Bunnies can drink as much as a small dog, so those water bottles that you see at the pet store, they're actually really difficult to get water out of, so I recommend just having a nice, heavy bowl. The one I have here was actually an antique find, but I'll link some that are similar below. You just wanna make sure that the bowl is hefty so that if they put their paws on it or try to play with the bowl, it won't flip over and spill their water everywhere. And lastly, you're going to wanna fill this pen with a ton of toys. And especially with a new bunny, you want lots of different textures. So you can start to figure out what type of toy your bunny is interested in and what type of toy your bunny is just not gonna play with. I'll link a couple of my favorite toys in the bio and you can get a couple of each different type of texture to test that out and see what your bunny is totally obsessed with. So now that your pen is all set up, let's talk a little bit about what else you're gonna need, which is food. Now I'm not gonna dive into a full bunny diet video here. Please comment down below if that would be a series you would be interested in watching, but I do wanna touch on what you should definitely have when you bring your bunny home. Starting with a baby bunny, if you have a bunny that is under six months of age, all you're really gonna need for food is baby pellets and alfalfa hay. Now it's important to note that bunnies have really, really sensitive tummies. So if you change their diet on them really quickly, it can actually make them sick. So when you bring your bunny home, you want to make sure that the person you're getting your bunny from either provides you with a bag of the food that they're currently eating, 
or tells you the brands that they've been feeding. Now that does not mean you're stuck feeding them that exact same brand for the rest of their life. However, you do wanna start with that so that you don't shock their tummies. Every day, just add a tiny bit of the new pellets in and then take a tiny bit of the old pellets out. And every couple days, add a little bit more of the new pellets, take a little bit more of the old pellets out. And then after about two weeks, you'll be fully transitioned over to the new pellets. Now baby bunnies, they can have unlimited pellets and unlimited alfalfa hay, but at least what I did is after about two weeks of seeing how many of the pellets baby Cinnabon was eating, I started to give her a little bit less of the pellets and break them up into a morning feeding and an evening feeding so that she knew, okay, this is kind of our feeding schedule, and she focused more on eating that alfalfa hay. As we bunny parents know, hay is 80% of their diet, so you wanna make sure that the number one thing they are eating is their hay. Now for an adult bunny, their diet consists of hay, veggies, and a little bit of pellets, way less than a baby bunny. Same thing with the pellets, you should start with whatever pellets the person who gave you the bunny gives you, and then transition to whatever you want to feed in the same way we did with the baby food. As far as their salad goes, check with the person you're getting the bunny from, what they've eaten, what they're comfortable with, and you can slowly start to introduce veggies from there. I have an entire IGTV video all about how to introduce veggies to a bunny, so you can watch that for more tips. And for an adult bunny, they are no longer eating alfalfa hay, they should be eating a grass hay. So Timothy, orchard grass, a blend of the two, something along those lines. Again, a bunny's diet is very complex, so this is just a general breakdown. If you want a more in-depth dive into what a bunny should be eating, just let me know and I'll try to make some videos that center around that. But for now, I hope that this setup and this little introduction to their diet is helpful for you, especially if this is your first week with a bunny, just knowing, okay, this is what I actually need to have on hand when I bring my bunny home. All right, buns, that is it. I hope that you found this video so useful. If you liked it, give us a big thumbs up because it really helps out our channel. And if you are finding these videos to be really useful, go ahead and subscribe. We post videos every single Sunday. Be sure to tune in this entire month because we are going through the entire process of how to get a bunny, how to bring them home. And next week, we are gonna talk all about how to actually start that bond and starting to bond with your new bunny. So stay tuned for that. I hope you are having a lovely Sunday and we'll see you next week. Bye, buns.